Hey, what's up, people? What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jason here, um, coming to you with another prediction. It's about uh, 3 a.m. right now, I'm getting ready for bed, you know, work second shift. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, outdoor motocross this weekend is in Colorado. And everybody knows Colorado is high elevation. Um, a lot of bikes won't be pushing out the power that they used to be pushing. Um, you know, 450 would seem like riding around a track, it seemed like a 250F. Uh, a 250F would seem like a 125. I mean, I'm being, you know, dramatic, but they're just under power. Okay, we'll break it down. What brands <clears throat> are known to produce less power? Power off you know showroom floor you got your Hondas and Suzuki's okay my predictions this weekend is Eli Tomac won't be winning or he'll be up front but he won't be winning it's his local close nearby track but he won't be winning um, y'all gonna call me crazy but uh, in the 450 class I think the, the boys are really gonna be shining in this class is uh, Weston Pike and Justin Barsha. Them Yamaha guys, Yamaha bikes, period. They just got that engine just figured out. Um, but uh, I really think, I mean, Weston Pike, uh, was it Weston Pike? He, he's a beast. I mean, he's a beast. You know, and, and along with that high elevation, your reaction, your your body, everything like slows down, less oxygen. You tire out quickly. Western Pike's a beast. I mean, Eli Tomac's from there. Yeah, he's gonna be up front, but I don't really think that that Honda's gonna produce the power that's needed. Um, everything slows down, but you're just tired at that high elevate, high elevation. Um, I think Justin Barsha, I think he's going to come with a point to prove. Um, in a 250 class, based on what I just said, uh, it's the Yamahas. I mean, they just got the power. Um, it's plain and simple, they just got the power. Um, Suzuki, I don't think, could be up there. Um, wow. Is anybody running Suzuki in 250 class? Dang, I don't think so. But anyway, enough of that. But, uh, yeah, that's just my prediction this weekend. I think Justin Barsha and Weston Pike's going to be up front. Uh, I think Dungey's going to be up there. And I think Eli's going to be there. But if he does win, he's going to be battling the whole way. Those Hondas. I mean, they don't have power. I mean, Geico's got it figured out, but still, I don't know. I just, I really don't see it. I saw the track map, and I saw him do, you know, some one-lappers. Um, he did look faster uh, than some of the other helmet cams I did see. Eli Tomac did look faster from his helmet cam than the other riders I saw. Um the other rider I saw was a Brock Tickle helmet cam and I, I hopefully I'll post a link down below maybe y'all can check them out but uh, those are my predictions this weekend is uh, the Yamaha guys up front I, I really predict Joe Gibbs guys are really gonna do it this weekend especially with that high elevation and then Justin Barsha I mean he's got to do it and in the 250 class, like I said again, the Yamaha guys, uh, that high elevation, um, <clears throat> you know, and, and specifically for riders that train in that high elevation too, but if you train that high elevation, but you're underpowered, then no. Nah. But if you, you got some power behind you, and your fitness is quite not there, but it's on par. I think you can pull it off this weekend at uh, in Colorado. But anyway, that's my two cents. That's my opinion. But I'll be posting some links down below. 
and y'all check them out. And if y'all got any comments, post them. Uh, I uh, don't ever hardly get to catch the second moto. I get the results maybe, you know, Monday or Sunday. If y'all can get the results or whatnot, post them down below. If y'all got any comments, post them down below. But anyway, this is your boy Jason. Y'all take it easy.